hey, this is Mario. Um, I'm just doing some reading here on the forum, and it seems some people are kind of uh, lost and confused with how to use the tool. Um, seems a lot of people uh, don't have experience with 3ds Max, so without a video or tutorial, or whatever, you guys are kind of lost on it. And I know that. Um, uh, with the script, I released it last week. I was planning to put out the video as well, um, but um, it just the script was going to change so much because I was looking into doing props and zombies and weapons and it's, and expanding the the import capabilities to uh, the Xbox 360. That's that includes the DLC and also the the DR2 original. Uh, so yeah, th those would have made a lot of drastic changes to the script and how to do things. So that's why I held off on the video. But um, yeah, it seems like I'm teasing you guys, but th that wasn't my intention. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how to go about it so you guys can get hopping around. So yeah, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to change uh, something stupid and small in this character here. Um, this character, for some reason, is this is just there in the game when you start up. I don't know why. She just she has no story or anything, but um yeah, everyone should have this character, so you sh you you should be able to repeat this experiment if you're interested in modding something, right? Anyway, her name's uh Brittany Beck whatever. This is her file, uh Survivor Becky or Brittany or whatever. So, uh, I'm assuming you guys know about Gibbs tool. It'll allow you to pack and unpack all your big files. The big files are like zip files, and they hold little files inside. So, yeah, after you unpack the mpc.s or mpcs.big uh, with Gibbs tool, you get this folder here with all the subfiles in it. And of course, uh, these are the model files. You have a big file and a texture file. So, the big file is just uh, another zip which contains the the model files. And actually, a character is broken up of many many model files. So you have like model file for the hand and the face and the, the body and all that stuff so yeah we're gonna pack the big file and import the not import but we're gonna export the pieces and stuff okay uh, so the first thing obviously is to import your your base character so right now we can't create a new one from scratch so we have to work off an existing one and I'll show you what I mean by that you have to use a lot of the existing existing stuff like the skeleton and stuff like that so anyway we've called this uh, the Brit mod so we've got that there. I'm going to unpack. Of course, I get you your subfiles. Okay. Get over back to Max. I'm going to use the script in my Max 8. Okay, run it. Okay, when you import, um, by default, I have skin disabled. Uh, skin means rigged. So you want to import the rig, enable that, and then hit import. And I'm gonna find her body now, so not her body, but her model. There's her model. You can import her big file. Um, the importer works off the the zip file instead of the subfiles, just for convenience. Okay, while it's doing that, I'm just gonna grab a model file here. Uh, we're gonna take another model and import it over top of her model. So yeah, here's my file. Uh, rip models and. We'll find Isabella. Or, yeah, maybe we'll do her. Yeah, I want to port her, so we'll port her. Okay, uh, so this is, uh, of course, Jesse from the first game. Uh, this is actually a rip from um, the Wii game called Ch Chop to You Drop or something like that. So you can see the model is kind of very low resolution, but it'll do the trick. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, Becky, or what's her name? Not Becky whatever Brittany the character here we got that imported now you notice that the bones are highlighted in yellow so when you click on it and you move it the arms move okay um, so far the import seems okay to me but the export seems to be a little bit um, questionable um, when I export a whole model it seems to work the only thing that doesn't work is the face okay so when you rig up the face uh, just rig the, the, the face to the uh, head bone Okay, uh, I'm not sure the facial stuff even works. Uh, every time I export the facial stuff, the model the model explodes or something. So yeah, just be aware of that um, there's there's bones for the eyes, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the nostrils, the cheekbones, the jaw, the telling, the teeth, and stuff like that. There's a lot of bones in there, and for some reason, if you rig them, your model explodes. So just 
start off rigging the head to the head bone, and then if you feel adventurous, start rigging the extra bones like the eyelashes. See if that works, and rig the jaw. See if that works, and then if that works, then maybe venture on to the little tiny ones like the, the nostril bones and stuff like that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's only about the head. And everything else seems to be cool. So, yeah. Anyway, um, there's the model. Basically, we're gonna replace everything on it. So we're gonna replace this from that and that and that and that. Just keep in mind, you don't want to alter the skeleton in any way. Altering the skeleton will affect your export, and it will it'll be all messed up, and you'll lose your work. So actually, my exporter works off of this list, okay? And this list has to be in the same order and has to have the same amount of bones throughout, okay? So if you delete a bone, this list is gonna be affected, and the bones can disappear. Add a bone, and this well, it won't really matter, but what are, if you don't want to delete or add anything to this list, that's the main idea. And by deleting a bone in 3D space, you'll adversely affect this list. So don't do that. Anyway, so let's just first uh, group this mesh. We're going to import another model onto it. So I'm just going to select everything and group it. Okay, that, that uh, just means when I select something, it'll be kind of protected. So after it's grouped, you might as well just freeze it as well. Okay, that way you can't select it and accidentally move something. So uh, let's save this to a directory first before I forget. Let's see, save this here. Okay, so I got my mod. I'm going to import Jesse's model. Use the merge button here. And I th think this one's rigged. Or not. Or yes, or not, or yes, or not, or yes. All right, that'll work. Okay, so that's just the body. If I unhide, uh, you can see that the the one that's grayed out is actually the Britney model from the original game, and the one that's not um, hidden or frozen is the Jesse model. Okay, so she's all rigged up, so I can actually move her around and move her arm bones to fit uh, what's her name alright so basically that's what I'm doing is I'm fitting her to fit the uh, DR2 model uh, what's her name <laughs> uh, Brittany yeah so the idea is we want to reuse the skeleton but to do that we have to uh, we have to uh, fit our model that we want to import around the skeleton best we can anyway okay so that's not too bad um, just gonna, maybe I want to rescale it a bit yeah okay all right so yeah uh, maybe I'm going a bit fast you guys but because um, I'm aware some of you guys probably have no idea what max is or how to use it uh, but uh, I don't want to make this video drag on too long and explain what Max is and all that other stuff. So if you guys do have questions, uh, first try to find information, uh, tutorials or whatever. Otherwise, uh, you can ask me and I can just give you tips on what to do and stuff like that. But yeah, stuff like navigating and stuff like that. These are your your manipulation controls. These are your navigation controls. Okay, if you're new to Max. But uh, Max does have a really, really long lear learning curve. So, if you're new to it, chances are it'll be a while till you get any, get any results from it. To be honest. All right, let's go with that. All right, so yeah, you can see I've just tried really hard to get her her body kind of close to. I don't want to cast like your arm. All right. All right. That's good. Now that's 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 good. <laughs> okay. So. Delete that. All right. So. In my scene, I have. Uh, I have Brittany, and I have my now altered model to fit 
uh, over the model. So, so in to simplify that, you have your imported model Brittany on this side, and you have your model prepared and ready to go over top. Okay, got it. So everything I showed you prior to this is just preparation to do what you guys were asking. You're, you guys were asking, how do I rig a model? How do I stick it into the game? Okay. Well, you have to have a model prepared and ready to do that. So I did I did the preparation, but the preparation uh, involves so much with knowing 3ds Max that I can't explain much to you about that. Okay, that's gonna have to come with experience. But say, okay, now you have a model that's fitted and it's ready to use. You're ready to go, right? So by definition, your model is a single model, and it's ready to fit to your skeleton of choice. Okay, so that is what you need now this is the actual steps you need to know to stick it into the game right so uh, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not off my rocker here and I am all right let's undo 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 okay when you attach uh, I'm gonna be using a trick uh, not really a trick but I'm gonna be using a method where um, I'm going to copy over the skin. Uh, so copy and paste um, is kind of it's kind of uh, glitchy. So your model actually has to have um, a zero transform. Th this is a transform. If you right click and go to transform, it's under move here. Okay, um, a transform shows how the model is in 3D space. Well, it's a 3D. I don't know. <laughs> it keeps the model in space. Let's keep it that way. Um, anyway, the transform has to be zero. So the easiest way to do that is to create a box and just double check and see the position is zero and the scale and the rotation and now the position is now zero. That transform is zero. Okay, so I'm going to convert this to a mesh and then I'm going to make sure she's in the center. All right. When I go into edit mode, I can attach now. All right. So that's the easiest way to reset the transform on a model. Well, when I only way I know anyway. So yeah, now the transform of our model is zero. Let's see, the scale is zero, rotation is zero. All right. So now, with the transform being zero, we can now copy and paste weights, which is really handy. Okay, so let's hide this model. We're going to unfreeze our main model. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, let me group this first. Okay, she, she, see, she's bleh. you can see that she's all diced up, like really bad, really really bad. So we kind of have to dice up our other model too. Okay, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Let's go with legs first. The legs are separated. Dang. All right. Let's go back. To this mesh. Oopsies. Ah, I don't want to dice this thing up. It's gonna take long. Hmm. Okay. Um. Not in the mood for dicing up the model. So let's do it this way. Uh, we'll cut her into. That's a lot of elements. It's like ten elements. All right. All right. Let's do it this way. Um, I'm gonna use a max script called detach by ID. I'm gonna highlight my main model. I'm gonna detach it. What it's gonna do is it's gonna find all the unique textures and chop them off the model. Okay. So now she's automatically diced in pieces for me. And I may need to dice her into smaller pieces from the looks of it. Hmm. Oops, gonna be in mesh mode. Leg, whatever, whatever. I believe her arms are also diced up. Ah, undo. 
look at this model. Okay, that's all one. Arms are kind of separated. Okay, I think that's good enough. Alright, I'm just going to select this entire model. Uh, I should have done this in the first place. I'm going to add her onto a layer. Okay. That way, if you get too confused, okay, your mesh is kind of like conjoined, you can just select uh, the layer that you created. And you can always pull her out. Alright. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Create a layer. I'm also going to make her transparent. Alright, so let's start attaching stuff. Okay. Alright, so she's got a leg. I'm just going to copy the name. I'm going to copy the skin. Okay. I'm going to delete the leg now. Her leg's gone. I'm going to select Jessie's leg. I'm going to re rename her name to whatever I copied. And I'm going to paste the skin modifier on. Okay, so what that does is it pastes on all the skinning information, skinning information, the rig, and all the other good stuff. So, now, oh, jeez. Okay, when I grab the bone now and I try to move the leg bone, um, it'll move uh, Jesse's leg. Okay, so that's that's a trick or a cheating way to carry over the rig from one model to another model. Okay, and I. I I guess I'm going to do that with the shoe. Okay, so yeah. Paste. Oops, I forgot to copy that. Okay, so you can delete the shoe now, and then paste this onto the shoe. Okay, so yeah. That's why you want to kind of dice up your model to match the other model. That way you can copy the skin weights over. But of course, I can't chop off an arm and then paste it to the leg because the leg will have skin information. Um, the leg will have information for the arm, and you don't want that. So that's why you want to keep kind of things close as possible as you can. So that's why I want to dice her up to match the other girl. Um, unfortunately, this girl has a lot of diced up parts more so than the other characters I saw. So quite the workout right now so yeah because you can see uh, prior to that uh, it only pulls to the original model right so anyway I'm going to copy that over Oops. I can delete paste all right let's see what uh, which one I can copy off of her Wow, this is a really, really bad model. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, everything now is set up. Uh, I, I believe Jessie's skeleton, or not skeleton, her, her entire mesh is somewhat now uh, attached to the DR2 character. So I'm just going to separate the model, uh, the DR2 character from Jesse. So I'm going to select that layer that I created before and I'm going to hide it. So just to double check that everything is attached. So if I go to my selection box here, oops, there's one thing that's not named properly and these are the earrings. Okay, the earrings, just for making that easy, I'm just going to delete them and let's see the rest right so yeah so that's what's left over from the existing dr2 model okay so of course i don't want these easiest way to get rid of these is just to select everything uh deselect one triangle 
and just leave that as a single triangle. Okay, you might want to maybe hide it, whatever. Okay, so that's the easiest way to get rid of something, just delete it. But not delete the entire thing, you have to keep it as a placeholder. leave that button there. Okay. So now I've kind of gotten rid of the other parts. Now if, un if I unhide everything, this is what's left over. Okay. Good. Okay, to, uh, wait, this thing's all right, I think, right? Yeah, so yeah, we're, re we're ready to export back out. Uh, one thing I'll notice about the model, though, is that it's got some jaggedy edges on it. I uh, don't know if you can see too well in the video, but the shading is kind of goofed up, especially since we spliced her right down the center, okay? Um, if you want to fix that up, uh, you want to go into here and weld your model, and weld it by 001. Okay, and if that still doesn't fix it, go into polygons and make sure that the smoothing group is zero. Okay, ooh, actually made it worse. Let's go back. Okay, okay. Um, if you still have a problem, uh, you want to add a edit edit normals modifier onto it, and you're gonna use a threshold. You're gonna weld using this instead. Whoa, you don't want that. Uh, so yeah, those are just different ways you can try to smooth your model out, okay? Um, but uh, majority of the time you won't have much trouble just welding and doing it that way, okay? Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the rest of that. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is select every piece and then export it out. So I'm going to select piece, hit export, and uh, you notice at the beginning of the video I exported the, um, didn't export it, but I, I unpacked it. So I unpacked the model previously and here's the little sub-files, okay? So we're going to open in that, open into that directory, okay? And we want to patch the persistent.big, okay? So I'm going to select that and hit open. It's going to patch and export my geometry. So I'm done with that piece. I'm going to click and hide, select, export, patch, done, hide, and do this for every piece that I have until everything's hidden. Nothing is left on the scene. Oh, I forgot about the face. Uh, I have to make sure it's not uh, going to explode on me. Fix that in a second. Alright, so so far I have every piece exported now. 
Um, I'm just going to double check the face because, um, as I was saying, there's some issues with using the facial bones. So um, all the lip bones and stuff are enabled. I kind of want to disable those. There's the jaw bone. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna weight everything just to the head bone for now. Uh, that's the head bone. Okay, still check. There's nothing. Jaw. All right, so we're all good. Okay, uh, before you ask, uh, before you're ready to go, you might want to just check the skin weights. Uh, I probably should do that before. Okay, whenever you want to uh, adjust a skin weight, uh, always enter animation mode. To do that, select the slider, move it somewhere, then hit auto key. Now you can move your bones without worrying about anything because you can always go back like that and unanimate your model. So. I'm just gonna fix the arms so it doesn't look stupid in the game. Okay, to actually select vertices, you have to enter this thing, go to vertices, and go down to your tool. Okay, and then when you select stuff, you now have the option to wait. Okay, and since this is mirrored, I can just go like this. Okay. Right, I believe her legs are cool. Let's try move one. That's hot. All right, we'll just we'll just leave it like that. All right. Yeah, leave it like that. I like it that way. Okay. Right. The oh my god, the arm. What the hell? Oh shoot! I forgot to stick skin on it. My bad. It's all good. Okay, so now we're gonna export the changes we did. So that's this thing. Change that. And the face I changed to. Okay, good. All right. So there's another step to this. So uh, we're gonna save this. And you're gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna reset the scene. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna untick import skin. I'm gonna import a static model. So, oops. Uh, wait. Let's go back. Okay. First, uh, you want to pack up your edit. So you're gonna use Gibbs tool. All right. So that created a big file. Okay, so I'm going to import that big file there. Okay, simple, fast. That's the model, okay, that we exported out. You can see there's no weird uh, or mad maddies or, sorry, weird things sticking out of it. So, yeah, it's still good. Uh, what we want to do is, of course, check the textures. So we have to unpack the textures. To do that, I have a separate a separate script called the extractor. Run that, and we're gonna open up the text file. Okay, so that's gonna create another folder with your textures in it. So I'm going to go to the asset tracker. Oops. Save. Uh, textures. Okay, so I just I just saved that to uh, my folder with all the textures in it. I call it textures. Okay, I'm just gonna reload the scene so it picks up the textures. Okay, let's see if I don't, yeah, let's take that. Okay, so of course the textures are all, textures are all messed up because they are um, they're using the textures from the last girl, like the, the original character. She's using the textures from the original character, okay? 
So what we want to do is uh, replace those textures with our textures. Okay, so uh, I'm probably not going to go through everything, but uh, let's do some simplistic ones. So this one is obviously the face. Um, if you want to how or whatever, um, go to your editor, material editor, sorry. Okay. And uh, these are all the materials that she uses. Okay. Um, you, you notice over here when you export a model, you can actually adjust the ID. Uh, th these are the IDs here. So you have 1, 2, 13. So say you wanted her face to use a different ID, you could type that in when you export and manually force it to a different material. Okay. Right now, it's not really set up for ease right now, but it eventually will. So yeah, yeah basically, you just want to change her textures to a different texture. So, not a different texture, but you want to replace them. So uh, I just use the eyedropper to select the face and it shows me what texture it's using. It's using Becky's head uh, CM. Okay, So that's how I know this is the one that I want to modify. So um, I can bring this into my texture editor and I can replace it with uh, Jesse's head and stuff. So let's see if I can find her face or not. Okay, one thing you need to know about the textures. Um, the game does not support rectangular images for some stupid reason. So when you export your textures, just make sure you save them as square. So your texture can't be uh, 5 long by 10 high. It has to be 7 by 7, 10 by 10, whatever kind of thing. So anyway, resize. 124, 124. Copy, paste, close, save, place, K. Okay. It changes. Hmm. Delio. Ah, there we go. Took a while to update. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna replace textures until um, the model in here looks cool or looks good. So um, I kept switching between folders, but I was I was waiting for the update. Let's do the hair so she doesn't look funny. Hair CM. Alright. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is um, there's only two supported types here DXT1 and DXT5. These are, uh, of course, um, Microsoft's um, DirectX T compression. No, yeah, DirectX compression types. And there's only two of them used here right now. The Xbox 360 actually uses three, but uh, we're just using the two. Uh, you were boobs. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, let's find the other hair. Okay, so just keep in mind that DXT1 doesn't support alpha channels. Uh, well, it does, but not transparency. So if you want to add transparency, you want to use DXT5. So DXT5 for hair and everything else could be DXT1. The compression is just one is smaller than the other kind of thing. Okay, let's check through these max. Okay, cool. And this is duplicated to yeah, So there you have it. So, yeah. Just gonna change. I'm not gonna bother with the skin or whatever. I'm just gonna change the her main clothing here so it doesn't look funny when I test it in game. Uh, clothing A. Clothing A. Clothing A. It's clothing B. What the heck is clothing A? Oh, for shit's sake! What is? All right, that's good enough. Um, 
So now that's the majority of the textures. Of course, you want to probably do the rest, but whatever. Um, now we're ready to test and do the game, so it's pretty simple. So um, we want to repackage the textures. To do that, we're going to use the other script. Um, oh crap! Click the wrong thing. Uh, it's called the Packer. Okay. Of course, both of these scripts were originally a part of the main script, but they conflict each other. So if you use one, it'll lock up the files, and you won't be able to pack. Or if you pack, you won't be able to unpack. They conflict each other. Okay. So that's why you don't want to use the ones in the GUI right now. You want to use the standalone script. So I'm going to use this one to pack it. So uh, textures. I have to go here. Okay. So I've opened that up with my script, and it's created a new texture file. So I'm going to rename this to text. And it's locked up. All right, so we're just gonna create a copy. Uh, the paste button doesn't work. All right, so this is actually my text file. Text. Yay! Okay, put this back in the game. It is simple. We're gonna go to the directory with all the models in it. All right, we're gonna find what's your name. We're gonna create a backup. And we're gonna name this one. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got these in here. Uh, There we go. All right. So I got my backups. We're good. Now I just replace the ones that are in here. Big, big, big. Yep. All right. Now we pack the file up. All right. So let's create a new big file. I'm going to rename it to NPCS. Okay. Cut. I'm going to replace it with the one in my game folder. So, oops, data, models, paste, uh, move and replace. Yep. Alright. So now I can boot up the game, and let me just think here for a sec. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, there she is. Okay, uh, the hand there, I think I forgot to wait. Or rig, and it's probably the same with the shoe. I'll have to fix those up later, but anyway, otherwise. Oh, crap. Who care? No! Keep playing. Screw off. Okay. Was I blabbing about? Yeah, with that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how you pretty much rig by cheating. That's cheating. Um, to fix these problems, we'll have to actually wait the model, but that, that's pretty simple. Um, but otherwise, that's that's how you place a character in the game. Uh, textures are there, obviously, and the models there, and yeah. That's a character replacement. Yay.